So today I want to talk about TSL, or Tibetan as a Second Language. Uh, how do we create a modern pedagogy or a modern teaching methods for Tibetan as a Second Language? Where I'd like to start is with the metaphor of a mountain. Um, you know, mountain climbing is very difficult and dangerous. Uh, and until the modern era, uh, pre-1990, only experts would climb Mount Everest. And still as shocking, 34% of them would die in the attempt. Um, but today, you know, using modern methods, uh, modern tools, modern techniques, uh, non-experts regularly climb Mount Everest and the fatality rate has fallen to only 1.3%. So our goal for uh, the Tibetan language, Tibetan as a second language, uh, is pretty much exactly the same. We wanna take what we learned from modern research of linguists and of second language educators and we apply that to the Tibetan language context. And that will allow students a graduated pathway up to literary sophistication in the Tibetan language. So where we want to start is very big picture. You know, for teaching a language, it's very useful to know what one is in general, how it works, what it's used for, things like, things like that. Next, we want to ask ourselves, well, how do human beings acquire a language um, how do we learn it? And specifically, what's the difference between learning your first language and learning a second one? And finally, we want to ask, what about Tibetan specifically? In what ways is it just another language that we're learning and all the general principles apply? And in what ways is it unique? In what ways is it special? And how do we take those considerations into account when we're forming a teaching method or a learning method for Tibetan language? And if we bring all these uh, together, you know, we'll be able to kind of have an idea of what a modern pedagogy for TSL, Tibetan as a Second Language, would look like. And so we'll, that's where we'll start in the next video is uh, what is language?